Tell us about the, the building we're in and what they do. This is called a healing center, but you're not actually here to just heal, you're actually here to die. <laughs> the idea of spiritual healing is that you cannot just rationalize everything about life. What you need to do is to get a near-death experience. But how is this a near-death experience? It's just being in a box. A lot of people come here because they do have suicidal urges. And then when they get in the coffin and they experience the fear of death, they're like, no, I'm not going to do it. And what do they actually do? How do you look death in the eye? You go through your own funeral step by step. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your photo taken because in Korean funerals, your last photo is very important. And then you write up your will, and then you're going to get in the coffin and they're going to shut the coffin. I write up my will. Yeah. I'm just going to give everything to my son. I'm going to give Forrest like a pinball machine. Scott, you can have one Rolex. Andrew, I've been sleeping with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> See, it does. I do feel healed. It's very good. I think you really need to try this. I was skeptical, but I've suffered with depression at times in my life. And this funeral idea seems pretty effective. But self-reflection isn't really my thing. I'm off the TV, which means I only thrive when receiving a certain amount of external praise. Yes, just like sunlight on a houseplant, people saying how amazing I am really perks me up. I've written my will, I'm ready to go. All that's left now is for Forrest to say some nice words. Why do you get to keep your clothes on? They didn't tell us to take our clothes off. All right, uh, friends, fans, and Jim's assistant, Jack. Thanks for coming, Jack. We're gathered here today to celebrate the life and art of the great Jim Jeffries. To understand this comedic master, you must start at the very beginning. Immense talent was clear from a remarkably <laughs> young age. Feelings, Forrest, Fe Immense talent was clear from a remarkably young age that Jim was different from the other kids. No one understood his genius. You know what, we're just gonna play the, the video that Jack put together. Oh, a video. Hey, Jim, it's your assistant, Jack. Yeah, he knows who you are, idiot. Just intro the video. To celebrate your life, I got the top author and therapist in Hollywood to share some advice. Hello, Jim. This is Gary Busey, your new friend. The word death, D-E-A-T-H, stands for don't expect a tragedy here. Now, my favorite comedy is Mr. George Carlin. Is Jim one of your favorite comedians? No. I've never seen him work. Hurtful. But I want you to know something. If anything happens to you that takes you to the other side without warning, I will take care of your family. But I want to get with you when you get back here. I'm going to show you how to teach hummingbirds how to fly in formation. You need to get a fine little fishing line and tie it to their feet. It's, it's like a, uh, going to a prom with nothing but kitties, little cats. They lick each other, they have litter boxes, they groom. You ever been to a prom like that? And in a kitty cat prom, there are no virgins. <laughs>